y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today is Craftsmas Season 3, Episode 22, and we have a fun one for you. Today we're going to be decorating the other one of our fall, or just our burlap garden flags, and we are going to be making it nice and fall, our Thanksgiving style. So, for today's tutorial where you, you need your garden flag, which again, I bought in a two-pack and you're gonna need your vinyl, which I'm using Glitter Flex Ultra in copper and dark green. Now tell me these colors don't just scream fall. So, you'll also need an easy weed and wooden pick your file, which is available on our Patreon page for our $10 or more a month patrons, a Teflon sheet and your heat press. Now your heat press will need to be preheated to 330 degrees for 15 seconds. So if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over how to make this. Okie dokie, so as you can see, I have my heat press here and I've got my garden flag. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and cover with the Teflon sheet and preheat the flag to get the wrinkle out of it. So we're gonna heat this for approximately 10 seconds and that also helps get the moisture out. But because this is a garden flag, and it was folded and it has a plasticky lining on the back side. I like to pre-iron just to make sure we get the wrinkle out. So you see what I mean? And you don't have to worry. The way that these are designed, for some reason, this doesn't melt. And I will leave it linked in the description box. So we've already got the vinyl cut. So we're gonna start with our copper layer. So we're just placing this right below where the pole would go. There we go. And we're gonna cover with the Teflon sheet. And we're gonna heat this for about 15 seconds. Now this doesn't have any overlap to this design. So you really don't have to worry about it because again, glitter you can't overlap. It has to go next to, it can't go on top of. Now there are certain glitters that can't be, can be layered, but it is definitely not this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, give it a second to kind of cool. Oh, I have a string. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to take our happy fall y'all. Look how cute that is. Don't you just love that color scheme? I do. I love and I used to not, which is weird because I, as I said, I used to not like orange or really green, but now I love both colors a whole lot. So again, we're gonna heat this for about 15 seconds and then it is done. Look how cute that looks. And I love how the copper shade kind of blends into the background just a little bit where it is not there we go. The most prevalent portion of the design, you know what I mean? And anywhere it's lifting, don't worry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reheat this like we always do, and that kind of gives it that final layer. And I have used these outside for years and not had an issue with the vinyl coming off once it's all applied on there, just so you know. It's just, this has a lot of texture to it, so you kind of got to do that final little pressing. But yeah, no, um, I, I didn't used to love orange and green, but now as a, you know, adult and who loves decorating for the holidays, I definitely do. There we go. Look how good that looks. And as you can see, nothing's going anywhere now. 
So if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over everything we did. Look how absolutely adorable this came out. I am in love. I love making flags though. There's something that is something special that's inexpensive and that you can sell as well because you can personalize this for, okay. So, look how cute the garden flag turned out. I love the glitter. I love how much it sparkles. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is something you can sell or you can make as gifts. This is the type of thing I like to make for people as well. You know, it's something that's adorable for decor and people don't always think about it. And you can always make them for lots of different holidays. And they're inexpensive. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And I post new videos every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for Craftsmas, which ends on December 24th. But I guess that's it, so we'll see y'all later. Bye.